Hey guys, Kevin here. What I've got here is some lens. These are specifically made for smartphones. I've been looking for something like this for a while because they always seem to be on Amazon's deals and you see them cropping up time and time again. This is from MPOW. It contains a macro lens, a wide angle lens, I'm getting short, sorry, and a fisheye lens. Now the side here, it says that the wide angle lens is 0.36 magnification. But on the Amazon website, it actually says 0.67. Um, so I don't know if they just got that wrong. Oh, that, oh, right, okay. I'm not sure if it comes, maybe it comes with two different ones. Now, this currently retails at £11.59 and about $12.99 in the USA. Prices change all the time, so bear that in mind when you're looking at it. Maybe cheaper, maybe more expensive. I may actually try and pick up some more of these. I'm curious to see how the different ones perform, so I might try and you know, get a different brand, um, different model, and see if it if it performs a little better or you know worse or whatever. And I think these this could be a good little gift. So in the box, the box is now empty. We have how to get a better user experience. Okay. Screw it tightly, clip it on your phone, and aiming at your phone's lens. And oh, this is a really cool little box. I like this. I wasn't expecting this, I just thought, you know, it would just contain the lens. This is really good because I'm actually going away tonight um, to a hotel, so it's good to get a little carry case. So if I can get this open, perhaps not. There we go. There we go, this is what's in. You've got a little cloth to wipe your lens, and you've got the lens itself. And these are actually bigger than, I, th I don't know why I thought these would be tiny, you know, when you see the picture online, but these are pretty big, when you see them. I'm not sure if that's showing up. So, feel really, really solid. I'm not, I'm not sure if that's coming across, but it comes with a really, really strong clip. I mean, this thing is not breaking. And then, you can see you've got the actual lens there. Right guys, so I'm in my hotel room now and what I was hoping to do was go a walk when it's still daylight and show you how these little lenses work. I went out and you know it was a good condition to, to record the footage but it was quite windy so I was scared that you wouldn't be able to hear me so what I wanted to do was show you in the, the room itself. So hopefully I can do this one handed. Right, I've got my phone here and hopefully I can illustrate how this thing works. So if I take the macro lens, this is the macro lens here, and you can tell it's got the the um, little kind of glass bit here at the front. What I need to do, I've taken my case off just to make it a little bit easier to clip on. So I'm going to I'm get in focus here, try and clip this on here. Now if you go around here, you can see, you can kind of see there. Now it's kind of like a big circle. It's really hard to get it all in full screen. That's maybe the best I'm going to get. Now if I take the instructions, you can see how this works now. This is a macro lens, so this is for close up. You know, you wave it there, you don't see anything, but if I bring this up to the lens, you can see how this works. You can see really close up. Now the idea is that you could use this for, you know, photography, for videos. I'm not sure what you would use it for personally, you know, you could do maybe coins or something like that. I imagine there's a lot of different things you can do for it, but you can see just, when you move it back even just a little bit, it gives out a, it goes out of focus. What you really need to do, if you see it here, is hold it right up. So what you really need to do with this lens, so if you've got this lens here, what you really need to do is kind of like press it against the surface like that. So you want to press it against whatever you want to take the picture or take the video of. So that is the, the macro lens. This one is the fisheye lens. Now, I don't think there's a massive amount of difference between the fisheye lens and I'm getting focus here and the wide angle lens. They're quite similar in many ways. Now you can see here the circle. Now I find it hard to try and get the circle on properly, you know, over the, um, the camera. We'll see if I can get it. That's probably the best. Maybe even that. So see that like it's kind of hard to get it, you know, fully on. 
In fact, that's good there. That's good there. So you can see if I, if I kind of... That's kind of the effect you would get. You'll see how it's kind of fisheye. So that's the fisheye lens. Now I want to show you the last one. This is, in fact, you, you can see these, you can see the names of all these on the side. If we get this in focus. So that's super wide. As you can see, like that's the macro. See at the side there. Macro. And the one we just looked out there was the fisheye. Can get any focus. There we go. Fish eye lens. But the one we want just now is the wide angle lens. And it says on there magnification, which is 0.36. So we'll do the same again. I'm going to clip it on um, if I can. Apologies for this kind of being a little bit um, fidgety. Now, this is kind of a, a, a wide angle, it's a wide angle lens, so it's kind of like a, an action camera type of thing. In a way, it's a little bit like the fish eye lens, you know, it's the same kind of idea. The fish eye lens is more concave, I suppose the, the best word for it. And it's just a basic room in the Hilton. So as, as far as what I think about these, I think they're good. Um, you can pick these up, normally they retail for about around a ten, about ten pounds. I was going to say a tenner there. Um, they retail for about £10 and there's lots of different brands. I'm hoping to maybe try a different kind. I'd like to try one more, one more kind to see if it's better or worse because it's hard to say whether this is good or not before, you know, until I've looked at a few different options. But I really like the fact that it comes in this little carry case thing. It comes in a little carry case. Uh, so it's quite portable. You're not going to be using this kind of thing all the time, but if you're taking a lot of pictures, you take pictures for Instagram, for example, on Twitter, if you're out and about, you know, you might find these useful. These are small enough uh, um, to keep in your pocket, so you can keep the wide angle lens, your fisheye lens in your pocket all the time. Um, you don't need the case, and you know, they come with their little lens caps, so it's pretty good. You can keep them in your pocket, and then you're out with friends, you could always put them on if you, you want something different. You can get these kind of effects through apps, through software. But, you know, it, you're always going to get a better picture if you take it, you know, with the initial um, image using something like that. It's just a simple little photography toy. I think they're quite good, actually. You know, if this was a lot of money, I probably wouldn't recommend it. But you're talking about £10 or $10 in the USA. It's not a huge amount of money. And, it, you know, it's just a little gimmicky. But it's a bit of fun. So um, if you want to take, you know, interesting different kind of pictures, you might have fun with them and you may want to check them out. If you have any questions about this, please do leave a comment below. If you've enjoyed the video, please like or share the video and subscribe to the channel. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Till next time, guys. Thanks for watching.